Good day, welcome to King Williams Everything. Today we're going to take a look at a power supply that failed from this PC that you're looking at right now. Um, I've had this for a couple years and we've had a few symptoms that were starting to show up. So it's kind of giving me like a clue that something's going wrong. Uh, symptom number one, the fan was getting loud. I had taken the fan apart and or actually I've taken the power supply out and when I looked at the fan, it was kind of, um, I don't want to say the bearings were, were going bad, but the uh, fan was kind of loose, so I knew there was something wrong. And it, kind of like the shaft wasn't in the bearings anymore, so it was kind of coming loose. But yeah, I took it apart, put it back together, and it seemed like it was working fine. So that was symptom number one. Symptom number two was um, it started randomly shutting down. It didn't happen very often, but every now and then it would do that. And so I kind of figured, well, it's got to be the power supply failing. There's something wrong. And then when I came in today, uh, Mr. Powers, Mr. Uh, computer was off. So I took the power supply out, and we're going to take a look at that. And you kind of see here, um, taking the fan out. And you can see it still spins. It's free, but I'm kind of suspecting that the since the fan was failing, uh, that was part of the what caused it to fail. Uh, this PC actually has lots and lots of fans in it. So I'm not sure if the heat was really a cause of it, but uh, I'm sure it didn't didn't help it at all. So let's take Mr. Fan out, and you can kind of see when I pull it out here, uh, the other part of the fan's missing. What I did, or I chopped it out because it's I just put the fan back in to kind of show you that's where the fan was at. Um, now that we zoom in a little bit, let's take a look a little closer here. And you can see at the very top, as we zoom in, the capacitors have that little dark spot on the top. That is actually uh, the electrolytes starting to leak out. It's kind of hard to see from the picture. It's kind of hard to get a really good, a good picture of this. But the uh, caps are starting to bulge a little bit, so that little black dot on the top is it's starting to leak out. I couldn't tell if it was leaking from the bottom. Uh, but most likely it's leaking from the top and it looks like it's been uh, you know it just started but you know once it starts they're basically ruined so that definitely is what killed mr. power supply so at this point we got two options we can replace the caps or just replace the power supply the power supply I don't want to say it's great but I don't want to say it's a cheapo bad one um, it's kind of in the middle it's it's not a great power supply so it's not really worth fixing uh, just replace it with a new one, but like I said, it's also it's not a, a really cheapo one. It's kind of kind of right in the middle. They have some heat seats and things like that, but the caps have failed. So uh, we might decide with them, take a little closer look, and see what brand and uh, see what they were. But at this point, it's not worth it. It's just replace it and move on. And so you kind of see the, uh, here again the picture of the the caps leaking a little closer, a little closer pitch picture. And that is what has killed this guy. So it was kind of sad, but it's time to replace it and move on. So I thought that might be interesting. Um, you know, if you have some weird uh, PC issues where it's uh, you know shutting down or you know just randomly turning off against some funky stuff, but it, it, the power supply has failed. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Have a great day.